how to read nutrition facts labels the right way. Knowing what constitutes a nutritious diet is crucial for eating healthily. You may start by reading nutrition facts labels, which can help you make better food decisions. These labels, which can be seen on the majority of packaged food goods, are generally known to most people. They list the chemicals and nutrients that the product includes. However, understanding and comprehending them might be a little difficult, particularly in light of recent Food and Drug Administration FDA, revisions. Continue watching to learn how to compare and better comprehend nutrition facts labels. You may pick the best food items for you and your family by doing this. Which nutrients should I try to consume more or less of, according to a label? Among the nutrients you should consume more of are Dietary fiber Potassium Calcium Iron Vitamin D The majority of Americans do not get enough of these nutrients, despite the fact that they can all help keep your body healthy, reduce blood sugar, and raise cholesterol levels. Choosing foods with higher concentrations of these nutrients is a good idea. A food's percent daily value will be higher next to it on the label if it contains more of these nutrients. Get fewer of the following nutrients. Sodium. Added sugars. Saturated fat. Sadly, the majority of Americans consume too much of these nutrients. They are associated with a higher risk of diseases, including type 2 diabetes and heart disease. On a nutrition facts label, what distinguishes total sugars from added sugars? One of the most significant recent additions to the nutrition facts label is the identification of total sugars and added sugars. This is a breakdown. Total sugar. This is a reference to the overall sugar content of a serving of the item. Both naturally occurring and added sugars are present. Fruit and dairy products are two examples of foods that naturally contain sugar. Added sugars. This shows how many grams of sugar overall were added to the food product during production. The majority of Americans eat too much sugar added to foods like baked goods, including breads and pastries, desserts, sweetened beverages, snack foods, flavored yogurts, condiments like coffee creamers, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and salad dressings. A number of disorders are associated with a higher risk when added sugar intake is excessive. The American Heart Association advises keeping your daily sugar intake to a maximum of the following. Women, 25 grams, about 6 teaspoons. Men, about 37 grams, about 9 teaspoons. Even though it's beneficial for your health to restrict all sources of sugar, it's important to pay special attention to added sugars on a nutrition label. On a nutrition label, how can I tell the difference between bad fats and good fats? Total fat, saturated fat, and trans fats must all be shown on nutrition facts labels for packaged foods. It's critical to select foods that have the proper kind of fat. The variations between the fats listed on the label are as follows. Bad fats. The least healthy forms of fat are trans and saturated fats. They may increase inflammatory levels in the body and increase the likelihood of developing heart disease, among other harmful health effects. Saturated fats. Butter and shortening are examples of foods that contain saturated fats, which are solid at room temperature. Additionally, they are naturally present in meat and dairy products. Trans fat. The worst kind of fat for your health is trans fat. They have been associated with a higher risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Furthermore, since most trans fats are produced by people in laboratories, they are highly processed. The FDA has prohibited their use in the food supply due to their negative consequences. 
Trans fat ingestion is still permitted since items with serving sizes of less than 0.5 grams are permitted to be designated as 0 grams on the nutrition label. The following foods may include trace quantities of trans fats. Packaged baked goods. Ready-to-eat frozen meals. Refrigerated doughs. Fried foods. Margarine. Shortening. Additionally, the term partially hydrogenated oils can be used to identify them on an ingredient list. Healthy fats. Healthy fats, particularly omega-3 polyunsaturated fats, are those derived from monounsaturated and polyunsaturated sources. These fats can safeguard your health by supporting lower levels of cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, raising blood sugar levels, manage or lower the risk of several inflammatory disorders such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, obesity, allergies, and others. It might be challenging to locate healthy fats on a nutrition label. They are not obliged to be mentioned under total fat, although some food producers may choose to do so on their own initiative. Even if a product doesn't specify these fats, you may recognize them by learning where each type of fat comes from. Monounsaturated fatty acid sources include Nuts Seeds Nut and seed butters Olives Avocados Oils made from the above items, olive oil, for example. Sources of omega-3 polyunsaturated fats include fish, cod liver oil, walnuts, chia, hemp, and flax seeds. Is the serving size a real serving? It is crucial to remember that the serving amounts mentioned on a nutrition facts label are not suggestions. They're not supposed to tell you how much or how little to consume. The serving sizes are meant to be used as a guide, but they are also influenced by how much food people really eat. You might need to consume more or less than the recommended serving amount. Make sure you're looking at the serving size that is intended because labels may mention multiple serving sizes. What should I look out for with protein? Protein is important to your health. Eating protein can help you control your appetite, manage your weight, build lean muscle, boost your immune system. The majority of Americans get adequate protein each day, although frequently in an unbalanced manner. It is ideal to spread out your protein intake throughout the day across all of your meals and snacks rather than consuming the majority of it at lunch or supper, for instance. Aiming to eat the following quantities of protein per day is a desirable goal. 20 to 30 grams before each meal, about one small chicken breast or fish fillet. Including snacks, 10 to 15 grams, about two eggs or half a cup of Greek-style yogurt. Remember that more isn't always better as well. What should I avoid in the ingredient list? The sequence of the ingredients volume usage in the dish is shown. As a result, the first item on the list is present in greater quantities than the substances that come after it. Generally speaking, the shorter the list of components, the better. Longer ingredient lists typically indicate meals that are more processed. They could include fillers, food colors, and preservatives. Check the component list for words you can pronounce and are familiar with. Try to stay away from items that have a lot of these substances. Ingredients to attempt to stay away from include Partially hydrogenated or hydrogenated oils, which implies trans fats. Other names for sugar include high fructose corn syrup, cane syrup, evaporated cane juice, dextrose, and more. Refined oils such as vegetable, soybean, or canola oil. Sodium nitrates. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, saccharin, and sucralose. MSG, monosodium glutamate. Artificial colorings such as blue 1, red 3, and yellow 6. 
What do percent daily values on a nutrition label mean? On the right side of the label, there is a list of the percent daily value. It explains how much of each nutrient contributes to the daily recommended quantity or limit for the item in question. The daily value isn't present for all nutrients. These percentages may also alter in response to fresh research because the methodology for calculating the daily value is always evolving. The daily value works best as a general guideline. However, keep in mind that it doesn't completely detail how a food compares to your unique needs. Are all calories created equal? No. The body uses calories from fiber-rich, healthful foods like walnuts quite differently from calories from junk meals like packaged cookies or drinks. Junk food offers empty calories, which are mostly composed of sugar and unhealthier fats. So, quality is far more important than quantity when it comes to calories. It is better to obtain as many of your calories from natural, whole foods as you can. Like, share and subscribe.